what I'm going to show you is this first style, which I know partly where it comes from. It's actually interpretation of some drawings and sketches that Picasso did round about 1927, when he was somewhat disturbed by an underage young lady. And um, I found those drawings that he made for sculptures enormously interesting. And I am a person who's influenced by all sorts of things. I'm also influenced quite recently by Paul Clay's drawings of angels. And I've been making some of those angels and interpretations of those angels. And I'm having them cut out in aluminium in South Africa. The other story is about buildings twisting and turning in the manner which was so offensive to Alberti. You know, Alberti, long ago, wrote four books on architecture. And um, he complained a lot about buildings that were not orthogonal. Well, I complain a lot about buildings which are orthogonal. When I was in second year at the University of the White Waters Ground in Johannesburg, I sent two paintings to the South African <coughs> Academy. And imagine my surprise when one of the paintings got accepted for the exhibition, that for the second year student was quite some achievement. So I carried on painting and studying architecture at the same time. The thesis was also a manifesto and this graphic, I claim for architects the rights and liberties that painters and poets have held for so long, was part of the thesis I made. The graphic is done afterwards because I find strangely enough that Nobody that I know really moves chronologically. You jump back and forth all your life and fetch things out of your past and develop those things again and again.